Hi everyone, it's Tanya from Ask Me for a Balloon, and today's balloon tutorial is going to be a Christmas balloon centerpiece. So to get started, we are going to need some 5 inch round balloons, and you are going to need 8 for the bottom and 8 for the top. So we're going to use red for the bottom. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use my little air pump. And we're going to put in three pumps. So one, two, three. Let a little bit of air out. And we're going to do another one. One, two, three. A little air out. I could have saved time then by tying them together instead of individual, but that's okay. So, now we're going to put them together like so. My studio is extra staticky. So now I'm going to take a dark green 5 inch wrap, two pumps of air, little, let a little bit of air out, or also as we call it, burp your balloon. out. And again, you want to tie them together. And we're going to make our quad. So we've got it just like so. And yeah, I hear a hole. So, we need to make a new 5-inch round. That does happen. Alrighty. So again, I'm going to tie them back up. Make a quad. So you have your four balloons together. Now I'm going to take This one is laid down flat on the table. I'm going to put this one on top, and I'm going to pull up the red and bring the green back up. So you're going to end up with your base like this. Now, this one I've only put a little bit of water in my balloon, but you could put a little bit more. And to attach it, you just want to place it in the bottom. Bring the nozzle up, maybe figure eight it a couple of times around your top balloons. And now that's pretty steady. Now you're going to take a 350 and I might have put a little bit more air in, but roughly a little over two hands length. I'm going to tie it off. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead with this nozzle and just wrap it around the bottom row. And that should keep that nice and secure. And then you want to wrap that long piece of balloon that you have around the bottom. Now you take your top quad, make sure you have it in your right place. You want the bottom to be in the center of the top two. And you just kind of make some figure eights. I sometimes have a little bit of uh, fighting with me. Okay, now this part you don't need so much. So I usually twist it and then cut off at the top. And 
tired off. Even though it's already tied off, I still like to do that once again. I sometimes mangle the balloons. <laughs> but you get the idea. So now we have that part. Now I've got a foil balloon, just like this one. And I'm going to take a scrap 160 and I'm going to put it right up there where you see the circle for where you inflate the balloon. And just going to place it there and I'm going to roll it. So now it's going to end up looking like this where you have two little strings hanging here and tie it up and I always tie everything twice <laughs> and now you can take this part and with those strings from your balloons that you tied on I'll just go around make a couple of figure eights Same thing with the other side. You can go all the way around the balloon for more security if you want, but I find that usually works stay. for me. So, I have a 160 and I'm going to make a little bow. So I'm going to start off with a little one inch pinch, one inch bubble and create a pinch list. And then I'm going to make a little loop. You can make it whatever size you would like. I think this is a pretty good size because this is going to make a bow that's going to go on your centerpiece. And then you want to make another, maybe about a four finger bubble. And then a little tiny bubble. Another little tiny bubble. Bring it back up. Measure the same size. So about four fingers and you just press that in now you have a bow that's looking like this but you also need another loop on the other side so I usually bring it around and measure it Part and just go around the pinch this to the back. And you have your bow just like that. Now, for some people, they might want to just take their bow, place it there, and you could wrap around if you don't have glue dots. However, if you have glue dots, like I currently do, I find them to be the best for this. And we don't need all that string so we can cut it off. I buy these cool glue dots. They're a little tricky to work with, but once you get the hang of it. So there you have it, Christmas centerpieces that are quick, easy, and inexpensive. You too can do it if you're a balloon twister or a decorator, or if you just want to do these for a home party. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.